ask. Yes, yeah, go ahead. Was it a struggle for you to um, to write about a country and a culture that was so different from yeah. where you grew up and, and what you're used to? I'm just dying. Yeah, my... but it's very frightening to do that because you have a huge responsibility. responsibility exactly. In the days of passage to India, you know, the English could parachute into India and go, all right, line up to some kids, we're going to make a film about you. <laughs> you can't do that. Yeah. And nor should you. Yeah. Yeah. So what I, I went back to my documentary roots really and wandered around the slums for weeks before I wrote anything, just talking to people, asking questions, just me and interpreter. Um, picking up the gossip, more people talking about it. And uh, I'd always ask everyone I'm at, so if I gave you a camera, what would you make a film about? I'd say, oh, that's easy. And we'd make it about gangsters. They're big in the slums at the moment. And, and someone else said, oh, we'd make a big love story. And, and I, so I got all, everything from them and then shaped it. Because I, you know, as an outsider, I don't feel qualified to yeah. come in and say, we're going to do this. Right. And did what, you I, what I did was to try and say, well, what's interesting to you? What you made this film about? So you felt like you were actually immersed in the slums for a while? Or was it because that interview... It's the only way to make it authentic is, is to find out what the people who live there are saying, thinking, believing. And then bring that bring that out, and then write it all down and shape it. And were they really excited about the idea that you were writing about about them, no, they or were, were really they puzzled. kind of they were puzzled. because <laughs> yeah. they, all the movies they watch from age two upwards, they're all massive movie fans. There's nowhere like America and India are like the only places where yeah. the movies are in the DNA of your country. It's not like Britain for sure. Yeah. But um, so, but they all watch Bollywood yeah. cinema, and they're, they're going. What do you want to write about? Yeah, is there a documentary? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 it's a film. <laughs> they go, really? They had, it's just completely out of their knowledge that anyone would make a film set in the slums. Um, but that, that's the only authentic way I find of doing it, is to, is to make it from the inside out. It was that a conscious decision? Yeah, because I didn't feel qualified to make it any other way. But it happened in the moment? Uh, yes. Because yeah. uh, I've, I've made films about other cultures before, and I've always known that you can't, you can't impose what you think your own preconceptions on them. Yeah. Well, I already knew that it wasn't up to me what this film was about. So how is this? Because it sounds like you've had a profound experience. How has this changed, yeah. or has it changed the way you're going to do your films from now on? Yeah, with a much more open spirit, I suppose. You can close down. You spend a lot of time on your own as a writer. You can close down, close down. Got more subtle and sophisticated, and that all that appears to be learnt experience as a writer. Because more intellectual. Yeah, and you go somewhere like India. It's very simple, very textual, very straight. You know, unembarrassedly romantic. Oh, that's brilliant. You know, if you talk about love in the West, it's all it's complicated. It's marriage counseling. And it's, you know, it's all full of complexity and psychology, and it's just not like that. Yeah. It's just me, you, love. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a phenomenal experience. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like when you're talking to yeah. this, but also very intimidating to write about. So. Yeah, but that's exciting. Yeah. I think you have to do it properly, you know. But but I think you've every, you every right to make films and write stories about other cultures, so long as you do it in the right way. I mean, I, you know, Ang Lee's made a Jane Austen film, and Shaker Kapoor made a film about England's most famous queen, you know, mm. Elizabeth. And, and it's very interesting coming from a different perspective. I think, right, it adds you know, if you live there, you miss a lot. You can take it for granted, or you, you look at it in the way that you've been taught to look at it. So I think it's really interesting, people coming from other cultures making films about your culture or us making films about their culture. You just have to do it, have to do it with respect and do it in the, do it in the right way, really. But, but I, think, I think it's the most exciting thing to do. I don't really want to make any more films about British people. <laughs> I know them, I'm a bit bored of them. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta say, uh, I've never rooted for a character in a movie in years as much as I rooted for uh, emotionally for Jamal. Oh really? I, I just, you know, because I'm, I, I, as being a writer, I hate movies apparently because I'm so picky about it. I've never rooted. Mainly because he didn't care about the money. That no, was probably no, which it was all about the girl. But I've never been so emotionally moved, oh, that's and, good. and I was so scared that it was going to end that sad. 
Because you did a great job building that up. Kind I know, of I like, didn't realize that. I always thought it was absolutely inevitable that he'd get the girl. Something. I know he'd get the girl, but it was just like, Obviously it was just... He had to try and make it, but he wouldn't. But. No, I, it was just, I just never rooted for a character. And you just, you fall in love with the character. And her, too. I mean, both of them. And, you know, and the brother. Well, yeah, that was, uh, was he the, was he difficult to write the brother because he was so he was like he was so loving in some scenes and then like in a second he would flip yeah and be you know well, I sort of wanted to set them up right from the beginning that their paths were going to diverge one was going to be always driven by a love for something and the other one was going to be driven by money yeah so I sort of set that up I tried to set it up very early with the autograph you know the one guy would right. go through shit to get and he just to the person away. he admired most in the whole world. And the other one would just flog it. Okay. But then the brother would save him from getting his eyes burned out, which was a yeah. very emotional scene, and then get rid of the girl. So that was, you know, that's why his character to me was so rich. The brother, the older brother especially, because he was so complex. Yeah, well, yeah, people aren't all bad and all good, are they? They're this shifting mixture of the two. Did you, did you get a chance to meet the little kids, work with the kids? Oh, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those little kids yeah. are amazing. Yeah, I don't know. I, you know. They were for the slump, yeah, right? The uh, yeah. Jamal well, the and, were, yeah. and the girl. Yeah. They were amazing. Uh, but then but they're all like that in the slums. They all they grow up on Bollywood movies. They can all do all the dance moves. You know, they're all, they love. There's no sense that inhibitions that the Western kids have if you say, well, why don't you improvise a scene? It was also a bit shy and embarrassed. Those guys are like, yeah, you're great. Those guys are like, We're in the movies. You know. They're very fun to work with. And I'm sure you're going to the Academy Awards, right? Yeah. Got a speech ready just in case? <laughs> or you don't mind? No. No, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I just wanted to say congratulations. Oh, thank you very much. I think you got the 70s for Indian film coming out now because of that. You what? Yeah, I think I do. you've done, you've created something that's going to lead to the 70s, what we had here in the 70s. Oh, right. Showing the slums, the underbelly, the yeah. different sides of life. So. Awesome. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, can we take a picture of all of us? You can.